Good day, my satellite television and YouTube neighbors. Today, we're going to look at how to make a satellite cable. But first, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and, and click on the bell notification to get all the latest notifications when I do put out a new video. And also, you can check out my Facebook page for Robbie Strikes videos or check out my Twitter or if you want to support my Patreon or PayPal with my videos. Alright, so I'm going to put uh, some ends on the coaxial cable, so this might be something you might need to do. Now, I just need a short run of coax co cable, like a you know, foot and a half or whatever, but I'll show you how to do that. Now i got some tools here. Now, in the past I have always been using one of these. These are a screw-on uh, F connector type thing. And they've done okay by me, but because we're getting more interference with 5G type stuff, I've wanted to get step up and have more of these type of things. You get these at I got these at Home Depot. Another place you can order online is these water, uh, these rubber ended water uh, type of F connectors. And uh, if you order these from China, you can get them pretty cheap. They got a bag with ten for a couple bucks. Home Depot is a little bit more expensive, but you want to be careful. You can get some really cheap ones, like these screw-on ones that are just like really cheap and they don't fit on very good. They're actually smaller. Get it in there closer. The, these are the, the cheap ones. They're thinner. This is the good quality ones. I recommend these better quality ones if you can. I ordered some of these really cheap ones. I'm very disappointed in it. I don't even want, really want to use these on anything. So if you're in a binge, you don't have one of these tools. You can do it. Now, for cutting it, you can get one of these tools. I don't really bother with these. Throw that in the garbage. No, see, I, I just uh, I just found the blade's gone bad really soon on that, and it's just not work happening. Make sure you get a blade that works. So be very careful. Disclaimer, be very careful if uh, you don't feel comfortable doing this. Do this at your own risk. Blocking the shot here. So you just kind of go around this, you can go around it lightly and then I always feel like you're cut plastic and then you'll feel the metal underneath there and you stop cutting at that point got an end. Now what I do is I bend this I'll just do it here so you can see that it's kinda bending away there your shielding should be there now I just sort of pull it back like this Bring that back. Get your knife again. I just do a few cuts like this. This way, just so it helps me to peel the uh, aluminum shielding off before I cut it. And then I'm going to cut it one more time. But there should be good. You can even just run the wire over your over your blade. Just sort of turn it around. And get your cut here. Yeah. So just go around that. Should have a little cut there. You just should pop right off like that. There's the other end of the cable. So I just take my fingernail here and peel that back. There. Should look like this. You have your little bit of white end there, and you get that. So you take one of these compression ends. Now that I got the tool, I'm putting more and more of my uh, accessories on one of these compression fittings. So you have it on the cable, and you just force it until you see the white to where you uh, where you, the uh, white part there. So the white, you should see the white part right up there. So you put the cable, the little coax bit, right in there where there's a little spot there for that. And then just try to do it in the shot there. And then I'll close down and you'll see it compressed together like that. And then there you go. It's nice and crypt there. So you got like 
the ends but that long there because it pushes it in so I'll show you here how it looks before and after. So you have the before where it presses it in and this is where after it has it crypt. So you do that on each end like that. Got a good solid end on there so it's gonna it's gonna make it so you won't have it it'll reduce a lot of signal loss that way. So once you have your compression tool what it's gonna do is it's gonna take this and press it together and hold the cable together much more firmly. Once you squeeze that together, it'll compress it together, and then you'll have your, your cable fitted. Now, if you do have a, a little bit of a pokey, the uh, RG stick, you can cut that, or what I do at times is I just take a little electric tape and around it, and it gives me a nice grip around these cords. To learn about free satellite TV, go to www.freesatellitetv.net. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to put an end on a cable. So first off, what I do is I get one of these uh, blades and take that out like that and just go around it, but uh, about like that. Is that about half of about about half an inch? And just go around it. You make it like a circle around. They go around a few times. This knife's very sharp, so it should just do it no problem. There we go. Got that end off there. Now you'll see there should be a little slit in there. So what I do at this point is I just take this, bend it. You'll see that the part of the shielding is being exposed. Just take that. And until you get the shielding off, or not shielding, but the rubber part around that to get to the shielding. Because if you cut too much, you're going to cut the shielding off. You don't want to do that. You want to have a little bit of shielding left over. There we go. Got the little rubber end here off. Set that there. So I take the shielding here. I just bend that backwards. So it should look like that. Now if you got it kind of squeezed a little bit, what you can do. All right, so if you notice a little pinched at the end from when you cut it, what I, I tend to do is I take this thing here and this has a little uh, thing here for pressing, for doing this exactly this job. <laughs> All right, and there it is. Uh, so now you got to get the shielding off this part here. You want to make it look like so you got a little bit of a white end there. So, oops, it's falling apart on me. Now, what I do to try to get so I can peel off this foil, I go like this and just do little slits like that. Sometimes it will make this little bit of foil stuff come off just around the end. Eh, there you go, there you go, like that. Another one like that. Okay, just do that before you start cutting it. Then you take this and you do that the same process again. You just go around your foil and make a little circle around this. You can cut into it a little bit. And also be very careful not to cut yourself. Don't press too hard so that you're going to fling it and stab yourself or something like that. Do this at your own risk because you're working with a knife. You don't feel like you can do this? Hire an electrician to do it. I don't know. <laughs> Now, I think I got it. And you just now that it's cut, you can just take this and sort of just if it's not quite cut, cut just the right way you want. Just take this. There you go. And then just twist it until it comes off like that. And you got your copper wire exposed. Okay. Now this is the part where you need your nails. You just sort of go and make sure this stuff here around the tip is all uh, clear it off because you don't want this metal shielding on the outside especially with satellite uh, touching the copper because there's electricity uh, running through here so it'll be a positive and negative 
over the air antenna, I don't think it affects it. Is it I'm not sure if it affects it, depending on the antenna, because some antennas do have power going through it. So you can see I've torn that little shielding off right there. So I'm just going to tear that off just so I can get all get a nice rip off here. Sometimes I can't get the stuff off at all, so I just leave it as it is, just but it helps to eliminate any shorting in it. Now I'm not, I'm not claiming to be an expert here, uh, but I've been doing this with satellite for years. Now if you get like a little bit and you can't tear it away, I just typically take that, fill fold it over there. Now the end here, it looks good. So it's ready for, to take this end here. Now you get the screw on kinds too, and it's just the screw, screw on kinds just will fit over this and twist it till it fits on. I find a lot of the time I rip this part out because twist on times I'll tear the uh, aluminum wiring on the outside. So with this, you'll see the little wire there. Just put that part right over it like that. And just press that in. Let's force it in there. Some of these fibers are falling off of my hand. And you can force it. Now if you have like a, a hole or a tool, you can force this wire in. Just sort of get that in there. And you should see, let's get it in the light. You should see it coming through there. So you can just press it against something like a table or find a grilled plasticky thing to press it in so that you can push the coax through. So I picked this tool here. Uh, I picked this up at uh, eBay. You can get these for like 20 bucks. Not too bad. Uh, they're just little... How this works is you put the uh, cable in there and the little there's the little piece of like your coax, your, your copper end you put in there, protect it, and it just compresses this. So what happens with these compression ends is this part kind of gets pushed in there and compresses it down. Should hold it on really good. It should. Hopefully it does. And so you just set it in there like that. Get the piece in there. And then you just squeeze it together like so and you see that coming together there as it moves it presses it together i think it actually doesn't take much to do it once you get it going and it's on there pretty good simple as that uh definitely a lot of people I, I used to work for a lot of people and they would swear by these things uh to do it to do it i was using the twist on ones but definitely if you want everything you don't want signal loss you want everything done right get one of these things uh, I've been experimenting with the twist on ones. They did work, but I am going to make sure I got good connections on all my satellite LMBs now. So I'm get, I'm using this this technique for now on, and I've redone all my C band uh, ends so that I can get better better re, uh, better reception with that. So once again, please subscribe to this channel. Check out all check my page here at YouTube. And click on the videos and playlist tabs to see all the videos that I've produced. Also check the playlist tab for many playlists of my videos I have uh, a series of videos for doing neato things on Linux some obsolete but neat technology and toys and a step-by-step -step instructional on how to set up a KU band satellite dish and step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up a C band satellite dish